Like I'm truly, truly grateful each and every day right now. All right, all right. Welcome to another vlog. It's been a while, it's been a while because um, obviously social media had decided to just go all in on TikTok, short videos. So uh, there's no time for long, boring, in-depth videos. But um, anyway, I thought I will um, show you where I've been the last um, last few days. I decided to, to go to Ubud for, uh, for the weekend and basically just get up here in the jungle um, and just be, basically be by myself and, and, and think because I truly believe that, you know, um, being where you are every single day, where you talk, you shit, you eat, you work, you're, you do all your things. I truly believe that the places you're in holds energy, they store energy. So, so you need to remove yourself from it on a regular basis, right? It can be 10 kilometers, it can be 100 kilometers, it can be 1000 kilometers. It's not about getting on a holiday and laying in a bed and just drink pina coladas, but I truly believe that you got to remove yourself physically from that headspace. Um, because if you don't, it's kind of like you just you're just running on a treadmill and, and you won't get new ideas, you won't you won't kind of like have that start and stop within your mind. It's just like going around and around. So that was really why I decided to go to Ubud here uh, over the weekend. So that's been my little little beautiful chair. I had my coffee in the morning. I have my little notepad and then I'm basically just sitting and just trying to be quiet literally and just kind of like take it all in. I haven't really used that bed chair here. I've been laying there uh, yesterday and just listen to podcasts and chilling and stuff. And then um, that's really why I decided to go up here and just run to the villa chilling around, found the one that looks the best with the, with this. I just want nature. I went out for a, a big walk this morning in the in the rice field and uh, no phones. I've just been like walking barefooted, shorts on. I have only my backpack and my flip-flops. I don't even brought shoes. And um, and yeah, that's really just been the whole uh, the whole trip up here. So got first bedroom in here where I've been staying and laying. And I actually forgot my uh, my earplugs, look at that. It's cookies I bought yesterday. A bit dry, but um, they're nice. Yeah, so that's the bedroom, first bedroom. Uh, really nice, like flooring, like it's it's beautiful made. There's just a lot, a lot of it, a lot of concrete. And uh, we got the same here, we got bathroom. Same thing, flooring. And then fairly big shower actually. Very, uh, very much like it's cool. Like it's, it's very rustic. It's like cool mate, you know. Um, so when um, so that's where I've been laying. Didn't didn't I didn't bring my earplugs. So when um, first night was actually terrible sleep because all the all the monkeys, all the monkeys out here. Uh, very noisy at night time. And um, yeah, so then you walk in here. The weird thing about this part here is like none of the rooms are connected, which is actually a little bit annoying. There should just have been a door into the bedroom, you know what I mean? And a door into the other bedroom there, but it's actually three separate rooms. So, um, so yeah, then we got the kitchen, which is really cool as well. Like everything is just following along in this style here. It's like, I like it a lot. I just haven't cooked. The only thing I've got is coffees in the morning and gelato ice cream at night time and then um, yeah so again you know the whole um, the whole purpose here to go up here was just to to work film and these sort of things and, and that's what i've been trying to do just sit and uh work think be creative not try to be too much in that like just done all my my basic stuff that i have but really just trying to disconnect no social media kind of like been all for that and then and just chill. Yesterday I shot a bunch of videos that will come out. Reels? I was standing there and I was like, this is what you need to do to change. This is how you get out of not looking the way you want to look. This is the three steps to how to get shredded without doing fuck all. Nah, I didn't really do that. But um, that, was a, that was the bedroom. That was the, the living room. And then we go into the second uh, bedroom here, same thing, 
Same style guideline. I haven't been in here at all. Same thing, same size and that sort of thing. A solid little, a solid little spot. I had a, a massage yesterday. Lady, lady came up. She was like, hello, hello, hello. Rock my, my feet. And that was, uh, that was really nice. That was it. And then we go back out here again and basically pull or jump in a little bit. So, so I don't know what it is, like if it's the pool or what it is, but I've had ear infection so many times up here in Bali. And I think, I actually think it's just because of the shower. I think there's bacteria in the shower water um, that kind of like makes it, you know, you, you get water in and it's just lays there a little bit and, and it gets infected there. So um, yeah, that's basically the villa, two bedroom villa. We'll love to hear in the comments what you think a night in a two bedroom villa, brand new in Bali would cost. What do you think it costs a night? Perfect location in Ubud. I'll show you down here. We got actually another villa in there, in the jungle here. We just built it. It's kind of like a good little block here. And then you can hear the waterfalls and stuff there. So it's really nice. There. So um, she has a set. It's just been uh, it's just been me up here, and I bet some of you are thinking like, why would you go? Why would you go there by yourself? Because I do like spending time with myself. Ah. <sighs> Little trick: if you drink coffee and you don't want your coffee to be cold, that's why I do takeaways coupler always. You just put a little lid on it. Um. So um. So yeah, man, life is good. To be honest, I can't, I can't, uh, I can't complain. I was, um, you know, on the phone with my folks yesterday, and, and I said to them, like, I said, like, I've, I've actually never in my entire life been as happy, been as. I actually don't even know the, the proper meaning of content. I think there's, a, there's a negative way of looking at content, but I'm just so like grateful. Like I'm truly, truly grateful each and every day right now because of everything just kind of like makes sense now. Everything just kind of like goes hand in hand. Like all the work that I've been doing the last six years, like when I moved from, from Denmark to, to Australia, like, you know, as you, as you heard my story many times, you know, I was doing drugs on a day-to-day -day basis from the age of 14 to 19 and uh, cleaned myself up, you know, started training, became good at that, developed my physique, competed as a fitness athlete two or three years later and, and kind of like thought that, you know, okay, I'm good now. Like I'm, 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 I'm fine. I'm, I'm not doing drugs anymore. I'm not hanging out with those people. Um, but there's still a lot of insecurities in me. There's still a lot of lack of sense of self or whatever. I'm not good enough. Uh, I can't be enough and that sort of thing. But I didn't really think about it because I did well. You know what I mean? I had confidence for my training and these sort of things there. And then uh, when I was 22, then, you know, uh, I moved to Australia and really kind of like got confronted again with all my insecurities because I was by myself, no language, like no, like I couldn't communicate. I could speak, but I couldn't communicate. You know what I mean? So it's a huge difference. And it took me a good, like a good year being in Melbourne there first time to kind of like start to feel more comfortable within myself and not, you know, feel so inadequate and that sort of thing. So it's really just, again, a huge mirror reflection of where I were inside myself. And, um, and that's when I just like, you know, I was sick and tired of feeling this way. Like after three, four, five months down there, that's really when I started to go like just one day after another, you know, I've, I've watched some motivational stuff and, and that led me to a, you know, a $30, $30 a course around self-esteem and, and that led me to you know going to Tony Robbins event buying a, a Tony Robbins program and that led me to Grand Cadone that I'm following today that led me to so many other people you know in so much that I've learned that I've done over the years and so much time energy and money I've invested into myself you know what I mean and that's why that's that's really why I think that I'm so like this is why I'm so happy and so grateful today it's because of you know, what I've uh, taken myself through over the last decade and really just see, you know, see how the work really pays off within yourself. This is not about you're earning more money right now. You know, it's 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 you're, you're living a different lifestyle or, you know, whatever. You have certain things people aspire to have. It's not about that. For me, it's about control within myself to be strong, to be to be um, 
to also learn to, to, to let go, you know what I mean? To be vulnerable. And I think one of the, the, the biggest things that I learned that that's, that that's really set me free from a lot of the, the past things that I went through mentally was my vulnerability, was, you know, um, speaking up and, and, and putting words on all the things that I felt ashamed about by myself, all the things that I've done. Like coming to the point where basically I've told you guys freaking everything of what I've gone through before, you know what I mean? And um, and I think that's why I'm so content today. It's because the environment that I'm in is set up for me. I live in Bali. I'm surrounded with, with amazing people every single day, building my team with, with, with good people around me. We're growing, we're, we're helping people change their lives, their bodies and these sort of things. I'm just in flow. I'm just so content, so happy and so grateful for that I have the curiosity and that I have the, the interest in improving myself because I truly believe that without that curiosity and without that, that urge, that hunger to improve yourself, I truly just believe life is going to be freaking boring. And being okay and being, again, I'm using the word content with just being where you are and have what you have, I, I, I think it's boring. I think it's, there's no juice, there's no challenge, there's no, there's no things to overcome. And, and in doing so, I just truly believe that, that, you know, we get weak, we get soft and we, we just, we just get content, you know what I mean? So, um, so that's why, that's why I'm doing these things for myself and, and going and living in Bali and, and these sort of things there. It's just all I want my whole life and what I discovered, you know, is that, you know, I have a very obsessive personality. I've always wanted to go all out. When I did drugs, I wanted to go all out. When I trained and, you know, became better at that, I wanted to go all out, right? I became the best fitness athlete in, in, in one of the best fitness athletes in Denmark in my category, right? You know, moving away from home. I didn't just move to the next suburb. I moved all the way around the world, 16 kilometers away to Melbourne, Australia. Now doing what I'm doing business-wise and being an entrepreneur and working on myself and these sort of things, personal development. I didn't just read a book. I didn't just think it would be cool to work online and, and, and do it in that way. No, I'm all in, man. I'm, I'm all in. I'm, I probably I probably think what I'm doing right now is kind of like that's my shelf for the rest of my life. It's to it's to work with people, it's to to connect with people, it's to 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 have more impact, create more experiences and and really just blow up the game, you know what I mean, for me and for many other people and really just, you know, be of service and help for that. And so so that's also part of it like I'm living a lifestyle where, you know, my work and what I do and what I interest in is something that fulfills me and something that's that's also pays me. You know what I mean? It's a lifestyle that I that I created for myself that I never ever have to leave. You know, how about that? You know, I don't care if it's Saturday, Friday, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday. Like just that. Imagine that freedom you have where you never ever have to leave. You never have to escape. It's not like you're on one big holiday and this is just, oh, this is fun. I work more than probably most of you, right? I don't work nine to five, right? But I don't have to leave. I don't count my hours. I don't have to think about, is it weekend? Is it holiday? Is it public holiday? I don't care. And I think that's why, you know, what I'm talking about, it goes hand in hand, like the personal development, the growth, the challenges that I put myself through is now showing up in real life with the things that I created and the people that I've drawn into my life and, 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 and what I've done, you know, so. Anyway, that's just, that's just my two cents. I don't want to tell people what to do. This is what you need to do. I know certain things in, in you know, changing your body. There are certain universal things that I'm very good at, that, that, that I have more than 14 years of experience. And if you come to me for help, I will tell you what to do. But these videos here, it's not about me. Oh, you need to do this or, you know, you need to work online and you need to be living in Bali. You need to do this lifestyle. I just want to share my two cents, my point of view and hopefully inspire a handful of people to want to go on a similar path because of the juice, you know what I mean? There is, there's within that there. So um, anyway, kicking off, taking off, shutting off from uh, Ubud in uh, Indonesia. And then um, now we'll head back to, to Changu in, in, in a few hours. See you in the next video, guys.